Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be talking about Minions of Mirth Online. I've been putting this video off for a while, it was pretty sad whenever I, I saw that they uh, had issues with the server, and it was one of those things where it was a hard drive crash. They tried to work on it for a bit for the server, and then two days later, they came back and said that the world server is going to be offline indefinitely. What is interesting about this game, as for those of us who also play Project 1999 EverQuest, or for those who play P2002, or play the private servers of World of Warcraft, there are people that are drawn to the original games that they remember whenever they were younger. This game came out in 2005, I believe I started around 2006, and the fact that we were such a tight-knit community, we may play on our own we would go out and solo whatever it was but whenever someone new came to the server we would reach out to them we'd make sure that they were they felt like they were at home we'd invite them to groups and take them into dungeons at our early level and we'd help them get into the game and learn it and it was just not only the game itself, but it was the people, the moderators, everything that was going on on the online version of the game just made it feel so great. Now, it is a single player game. Uh, we are able to play it as a single player game, but the single player uh, is just something that they nicely add, added into the game for us to be able to play if we didn't have the ability to play online. Uh, like myself, at some points in my life, I haven't had internet access, so it allowed me to be able to play it on my own, have that same experience, but it's nothing like whenever you were playing online. So, while I'm sad to see Minions of Mirth go, I believe they did everything they, they could. They kept the servers on longer than I would have thought that they would, but I I am sad that it is now gone. Um, that said, you can still talk with them uh, through Twitter, through their website. You can still get the game. It's just that it's not the same. It's not the same as logging on saying, Hey, how's it going? Did you get your level last night? Or did you guys want to go and farm some spells uh, in, in, um, in, in a dungeon? Or whatever it was. It, it was one of those things that anyone could say about any game that they've played that's an online role-playing game that now has changed and they re remember the nostalgia and they've gone back to a server that allows you to play in that original style i but it's it's sad and um i finally went ahead and made a video because yesterday i was asked about it. i was asked how do you feel now that um, Minions of Mirth is no longer online, and I just felt like I had to say something about it. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to say today. Um, as far as Minions of Mirth, I may be playing it again soon, just to keep up the feels as far as doing videos. But, as far as the online play, there really is nothing you can say about that kind of loss because you're pretty much tearing apart a community and i this is no negative to the to the owners of minions of mirth they did absolutely fantastic all the years and the, the fact that even up to this day you will still see them messaging on twitter and also they, the game is still available, so you can get it for the single player aspect. 
I'll leave all that information in the description below. If you want me to do anything or have uh, have seen me play the game and want to see a, a, a world or if you want me to do walkthroughs of a dungeon or anything like that, I can definitely do that for you guys. But anyway, this is Cypher Deck and I will talk to you next time. Peace out.